that was the one thing that that uh, both Pommy and Joy were saying, which is that you know pick your players and give them a chance, right? And give them a run. Let them keep going. You want the master of that. That's MS Dhoni, right? He constantly keeps doing that. And Joy, he's done that today as well. We were talking about Ritu Raj Gaikwad, right? You've got options. You can push Ambati Raidu at the top. He's been super successful for you. You have a Robin Uttapa sitting on the bench who you probably bought as an opener. You have these options. So it's not like, you know, Dhoni doesn't have any. But he's like, it doesn't matter, man. It's okay. It's the kid plays. <laughs> One of the interesting things is that uh, Dhoni and Stephen Fleming rely a lot on the Nets. Mm. They watch a lot of the nets and now what's happened is because these teams are playing 2-3 matches in one place, they're actually getting some nets. You know, very often it happens during an IPL season that you get very, you know, you can get only two or three net practices because you're playing, traveling, playing, traveling, playing, traveling. So mm. here, you know, they're staying in one place for three, four matches, they're getting a bit more nets. They would be looking at him in the nets and saying, look, he's batting clean, he's batting good. All it needs to do is for him to get into form. And if a guy has not got it, if you're an experienced enough coach, you can watch in the nets and say, you know, this guy's not all there. And yeah. Fleming is a great believer in form, saying that, okay, he's just because he's had three bad days doesn't mean that he can't do it. He's looking, he's looking the part. That's what they believe in. So I'd mm. be interested in seeing how they are, how, how long they're back. Mm. And you remember last season where he had the horrid time of having COVID and staying in quarantine forever yeah. and then, you know, just it was a nightmare for him, you know. And then he came out and I remember, what was it, four balls? It was. It looked like he couldn't get a run, actually, I think, in his first couple of games, if, if I'm not mistaken. And then the last two games that he played, he batted beautifully in Dubai, batted magnificently. It looks like he's got the touch and every now and again looked like he had some power as well he looks a good young player and from a place where you thought poof the guy we saw in those couple of games and the guy we're seeing here they look chalk and cheese and mm. and it's a question of just getting some flow getting out the blocks and getting some flow because when he's looking bad he looks really bad <laughs> but when he looks good you, 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 you don't recognize him you think it's a totally different blow Right, so so hopefully he can get away, and if he does get away, um, it is wonderful to watch. Also, there's the added issue of the fact that he's a youngster in that side. All the guys we're talking about saying, you know, you could replace him with so and so and such and such. They're older guys, and it's a yeah. time when Chennai need young guys, and this yeah. is one of those. I think that they're pinning their head on saying, look, here's a young guy we think can take us a long way and can be around and with us for some time. So they need him to succeed and hopefully he turns the corner.